Hello, welcome. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to do a shade structure for a lamp. Uh, and the thing is, you have usually a base, right? Like a little something in which you're going to put your light bulb. But then you have to put this shade like, hanging around and being centered. And it's kind of hard just to tackle that issue with conventional, I don't know, laser cutting and tree printing because they kind of, you want to do like this wire structure which is how usually you're made, but um, that actually requires a lot of hand craftsmanship. And so I think this, this could be like an easier way. Maybe I'm wrong, but hey, who knows? So my take is like, well, in these two lamps, I want to make this, so solve this problem. They both have a cylindrical uh, structure, right? Like, well, I mean, like the, the pose, the general, body is a cert is a cylinder and then on top the shade i have two options one of them is a truncated pyramid actually that's too hard to explain <laughs> with without drawing it so let me just go to jamboard and um jamboard let's create a new one and in here um so one of the lamps, picture it as these uh, organic kind of shape. Oh my God, that's not symmetrical at all. Well, it's kind of like this. And so it's kind of like a revolutionized shape, right? And so here is where we want to like start our um, structure. And the top is going to be a circle because the actual shade is a cylinder, right? So these red parts what we're doing. Another one is just the cylinder, straight up. Actually, two of them are like this. Um, the structure is gonna go from circle to uh, a square, right? Because the shade it's um, a truncated pyramid, which means it's gonna go from here to here to here to here. Um, so yeah, it's a truncated pyramid. Kinda like this, right? So in this case, the structure should be here, right? Holding up the, um, the shade. And then the other one um, is going to be a circle, I mean a cylinder, and the shade is a cylinder. So it's pretty much the same one. It's going to be kind of like this, or maybe like a bit of a cone. Um, so it's going to be kind of like that. <sighs> All right. Um, so yeah, that's that's like the general idea. I'm thinking I'm gonna do two or four arms. Um, I think four is gonna be more more rigid. I think I'm gonna do four. All right, let's start. So um, in all of the options, the the base is circular. So we're gonna do that shape um, so far. So I'm gonna create a new folder here in Onshape. We're gonna be using Onshape, sorry. Uh, let's call this Lamp Shape Structure. I'm gonna get in, create new document, Lamp Shape Structure. And in here we're gonna start, so we have like three pieces. We have the circle that goes here, right? The arms and the bigger piece, right? That can be a circle or a square. Um, I'm thinking of using this method of joinery. Uh, ah! Ah! What's that? Sorry. This method, right? Like, this little like cut and cut. So yeah. I'm thinking of using acrylic, three millimeter acrylic. Um, so that's something to take into account. And that's that. 
Oh, all right. Let's start. Um, the first lamp is going to be attached to a PVC tube that I have to measure right now. And I will do right now. Mm, 48 point 20 30 48.3 48.3 48.32 38 32 all right so I'm gonna go to the top new sketch uh -huh. oh the 48.32 that's the outside of my PVC tube um, the inside actually it doesn't even matter but just because maybe this can serve me for another tutorial I'm gonna do it as it is 40.58 40 40.58 40.58 Alrighty, extrude. Um, let's do. Let's do. I don't know, kind of like three, ten centimeters. Why not? Ten centimeters. Ten centimeters. All right, great. Let's call these. Remember to name your pieces. PVC pipe. All right, let's create a new one. Part Studio. 48.32 was it, right? Yeah. Let's do it here in top. 48.32. 48.32. And then I'm gonna go a bit bigger. How much bigger? Actually, I don't know. Uh, and I have to make some cuts as well. I have an idea. Let's create our in standard. Uh, let's call this 10. That's one centimeter. Is that too much? No, I don't think it's too much. Let's go by centimeter. Yeah, why not? Uh, and now we can extrude. No, not yet, Francisco. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Edit. And now, you know what we should do? We should do a, like, you know, like, let's make a line from here to here, right? Let's make a line from here to here, right? Actually, let's bring this over here. And this one, let's do it over here. Like that. Just to keep it on one side. All right, awesome. And now let's cut. I'm sorry, I switched languages. <laughs> oh my god! All right, let's these two. Let's switch it to um, construction line. And now I'm gonna do the little cut that is needed for. Um, oh, actually, this could be done. I'm gonna be like super efficient. I'm gonna make a diagonal line. Like this, 45 degrees I hope. Well, if it's snapped, I'm guessing it's 45. So actually, I don't need that many things now. One. Oh, because this is not defined. Whatever. Uh, let's just, I'm doing just an eighth of a circle um you're gonna see why in a minute um i'm gonna do an angle here to here it should be 45 it is 45 um some things are still movable like this this and this should be coincident uh, and I don't know why it's not taking my 10. Uh oh.
Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Oh, look at that. The center is off center. Uh, there we go. Now it's not moving. I don't know why, but okay, I think it's working. So I have this eighth of a circle, right? I'm going to the construction line. And um, the distance between this and this should be 1.5 because uh, my acrylic that's going to go in here, it's. Um, it's um what it's three so i need half of that and now i can say but i want this to be half oh, come on. i need this and this to be five just like that actually wait this line i don't need it i only want that Correcto. All right, now I'm gonna delete this line. And I'm gonna say, hey, I need uh, all you three lines, these three lines, one, two, three, four lines, one, two, three, four, to mirror with this line. Oh, so beautiful. And now, I can make this line right here. Um, make this, oh, messed it up. Well, not really. Now I want, um, I want this, this, uh, this, and this to be mirrored with this line. Nice. And now I want all this, All this and all this, come on, to be mirror with this one. Ta -da! And so everything, if I modify, so the, the cool thing about doing it this way is that um, if I modify this five to a six, let's say, everything modifies because it's um, base of the first drawing. Ain't that cool? Yes, it is. Don't tell me it's not. I know it's cool. Oh, here's a 10. I knew it was somewhere. That's why it was like taken into account. Well, it is there. I don't know why, but it's there. So let's just trust it. And let's extrude this part. Three millimeters. Um, three. All right, so that's our piece right here. Check this out. Ain't it pretty? Let's rename this part as ring base. Um, all right, now let's um, let's do the arm. Well, like, all right, no, I mean. Right now we're gonna work with um, the square one. Now the square one is is gonna be for a pyramid in which the smallest square is a four by four and the biggest square is an eight by eight. So I think we should go a bit bigger than the four so it stays here. So maybe a four and a quarter 4.5, I think 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, so it stays at the top of it, or maybe 6, no, I think on the top, yeah, I think on the top is good, 4.5, so it cannot go through this hole, 4.5, I like 4.5, do you like 4.5, I think we all like 4.5, so let's do that, let's go create, create, let's go create part, rename it, and let's call this um, top square, Top square, let's draw in top, new sketch, uh, top, let's make a circle from the center, like this one, 
great. We set 4.5. I use D for dimension. You can also click here. 4.5 inches, whatever that means. Uh, because I don't use Imperial System. Well, I mean, I use it for this, but not a fan of it. Four inch, no, no, we said 4.5 inches. Five inches. There we go. Uh, let's make another square right here in the center. And remember the distance, we should be 10 below this and 10 below this. Good progress. And now, here, we should have these, um, like, actually, we can use our same method, just like the one we did. Or, I mean, if you didn't like that method because it was too convo convo convoluted, we can just do a line crossing here and a line crossing. How do you make a line without clicking here? L. Okay, I want to remember that L now shortcut to be more efficient with my time uh the, main, the construction line and then da -da 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 here i'm gonna make um i'm gonna make a little cut here 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 actually i can make a mirror from here to here uh -huh. And I can say, hey, you little thing. One point five. Five. And I better cut this part. What did I just do? You can see the line seems like it didn't cut, but I think it's because of the dimension line, actually. Yeah, I think it's because of that. Anyway. <laughs> actually, I don't like this method. Hey, why am I missing the other... Suffering. I think I'm gonna use the same method actually. I just don't like cutting in every corner and you know. So now that I have this quarter of what I want, I don't need anything else. So I can just use this thing, cut everything. <laughs> half which is what I need oh my god mm, I think these two should go out this is the only thing I need I know I know seems like it's hard this way but believe me it's more efficient Oh, I'm clicking OK too many times, and then I lost from here to here, five. Oh, I don't know why I clicked that so many times. Um, Uh-oh, not good. So this one should be horizontal. This one... Uh oh should be um this point should be attached to this point all right this point this line should be coincident and the distance between these two should be 10. now 
Hmm. What I need. Uh oh. Alright, something I should do is just add a line from here to here. Make sure this line is horizontal and move it into construction line. There we go. Now I only want this, 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 and this to be um, mirrored with this line. There we go. And now I want all of them, well, not all of them, but all of this. My goodness. Well, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then this one, this one, this one, and this one. Should be mirrored with this one, and then I am missing one line from here to here. This line should be construction. Uh uh uh. And all of these lines, yeah, why not? Actually, this is the construction line. Uh, should be mirrored. With this line. Ah! You know, that's the issue when you l stay with a construction line. So, I have a little construction line here that messed me up. So, don't select any construction line. Control. It's not working. There is no construction line is selected. And then I say mirror with this line. There we go. Ooh. My goodness. There we go. Now, how high do I want it? That's the question. Uh, the cool thing is I can always modify it. Now, um, this is interesting. What I can do is I can just take the measurement from here to here, which I mean, actually it can be deduced by like math, but um, this distance in X, one, 104.3 104.3 that's a really important measurement we have to remember 104.3 uh, how are we doing with time all right we're good we're good we're good we got these people we got these people create part uh, studio new part studio let's call this arm rename this as arm and now Front uh, sketch. Let's make a line from here to here, and let's say dimension 104.3 divided by 2. Why divided by 2? Because I'm trying to. The distance between here and here. Oh my god, my computer is not cooperating. I'm so sorry. The distance between here and here, um, half of it, I'm going to use it, and also uh, half of it, I'm going to use it to generate this arm shape. Um, I hope it makes sense. If not, let me know. And then... From the ring base, we're gonna do the same measurement, the inside one, the inside one. This is the one we want. Um, and that's 5832, 5832. Here, I'm gonna do dimension 
58.32 divided by 2. Alright, good, 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 good. And now I'm gonna do a line just to have them connected. Uh, this line, I'm gonna put it like this. Why is this line blue? Oh, because I haven't decided the height. <laughs> um, what would a good height be? Uh, I guess at least to cover the bulb. And if you put a socket, sorry, a bulb in a socket, I have one right here with me. I mean, if you just want to cover the bolt and the socket, it's pretty much just like 15 centimeters. I mean, hopefully your socket is like embedded, but if it's not, then you want to cover a bit more, kind of like 18 or 17 centimeters. Let's do, let's do, 18. Why not? Let's try to do 18. Is it too much? It is a bit too much. Actually, no. You know what? For this one, let's let's just cover the bulb. It's gonna be like 10, 11. Let's do 11. All right. All right. Now. These lines are just references, so we don't need them to be solid. Um, now this piece I'm drawing right here, it's kind of like this shape. Like this and this part are what we measured too, if that makes sense. So like, I mean, I'm gonna go do it like pretty roughly, but it would be pretty much like, actually this is gonna be pretty good. Oh, messed it up. Well, I mean, I'm gonna just uh, not glee. All right, so so many things we have to repair here, but this is like the general arm that we need, right? <laughs> so ugly. Uh, these two lines should be parallel, first of all. Then I got some measurements for you right here. This should be 1.5. This should be 1.5. Um, this should be 5. If I move this one to the other one, oh, it won't move, huh? Let's standardize this. Let's do three. Three. Let's do this um, 10. Horizontal. I'm gonna add a point here because I just wanna be able to move this with this. This line, I wanna make it like that. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I see, I see. Um, well, I think it's fine. God, 
Let's compare his stuff, right? And this one should be midpoint. That's the one I should have used before. Midpoint. How much did I put on top? Three and three. Mm. All right. this one and I can do here here so now I can drag this one here and I can do this one here and so I can make sure this one is vertical Did this one move oh yeah it moved Two, five. <gasps> no. I think that's good enough. Um, actually, I think we can do this a bit farther. No, I think that's good. What? Something happened. All right, seems good. Now I can extrude this three millimeters. Edit. Oh, good. Now to finish it off. <coughs> My God, I'm running out of time. Um, we got the PVC pipe, it's gonna be here. Uh, let's make, let's bring one ring base, one arm, well actually, four arms. And uh, the top square. Uh, pretty much these are all the pieces that you need. Uh, and now we're going to start making the um, the assembly.